Praise God, praise God. Just a quick message um, this morning. I wanted to just share something with you. Currently, I'm going through with their, um, a situation has arisen. <laughs> That's to put it mildly. And in the past, I would have handled it um, in my own natural way, which would not, God couldn't, he definitely wouldn't have been pleased. But He's changed me, you know, he's cultivated and <laughs> disciplined me and, and all of that. Okay, fine. So this particular challenge, not going to tell you, who, you know, who it is, just for family and friends and all you all who love me, I'm not in danger. It's not like that. Just a challenge. And um, so it, it, it kind of came to a head yesterday and I had to decide, Lord, what about, what do I do? You know, how do I handle this? And I was pleased with myself because the natural way of doing things is like, man, oh man, I'm not that person. You know how you know it, but then something will come up and you realize, yeah, okay, for look at the work of God in my life. Okay, fine. So, um, last night, you know, it, the enemy kept trying to write, poke at me to try to get me to worry and fret over this thing and what's going to happen tomorrow and all of this stuff. And where naturally it would be where you can't sleep or you're tossing and turning from broken sleep and all of this. And this morning when I woke up, I was like, whoo, what a refreshed in. <laughs> wow, Lord, thank you. And that's where this is coming from now. And Father, thank you. This is how it started. Lord, thank you for a good night's sleep. Thank you, Lord God, that you you held me. You tucked me in. You were, you you kept me at your peace, surrounded and wrapped in your peace. Lord God, thank you for that. I have to give you all the 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 praise cuz it's all you cuz the situation is still there and I may not know today lord what's going to go what's going to go on or or anything like that lord god but I know you know I may not have all of the details but I know the one who does god I thank you that this thing this situation will be rectified and it will not continue I thank you for your outcome lord god I thank you, Lord, that you have a uh, you have straightened out the way for me, and you have even put little stations of favor, your favor, out for me along the way on the road. God, I thank you for that. Jesus, I thank you, my big brother, coming through for me, and I know that I don't have anything to worry about because of you. Thank you, Jesus. Holy Spirit, oh, thank you that you are with me, that you are making sure that I don't miss any of those little stations along the way, that I stay on the path. I thank you, Lord, for your outcome. I thank you to the Godhead for being everything your word tells me you are, and you are all that for me. Thank you, Father. Thank you. In Jesus' name, I praise you. Lord, I thank you that there is no weapon formed against me that shall prosper. And that's what came up. That's scripture. Let me read it to you. Isaiah 54, 17. No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper. And every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord. And their righteousness is of me, saith the Lord. Now that that's from the King James Version in case that thee <laughs> didn't tip, tip it off. Now, look, let's look at it at um, in the Amplified Classic. But no weapon that is formed against you shall prosper. And every tongue that shall rise against you in judgment, you shall show to be in the wrong. This peace, righteousness, security, triumph over opposition is the heritage of the service of the Lord. Those in whom the ideal servant of the Lord is reproduced. This is the righteousness or the vindication which they obtain from me. This is that which I impart to them as their justification, says the Lord. Praise God. So as I'm praising and I'm worshiping God and just thanking the Godhead and, and just whoo, having that moment, this image came up and forgive me for all of you historians. Um, um, the vision of that little girl, the, the little black girl, 
who at the time I think they were called Negroes, but a little black girl, African American girl, and she was going to school, and it was like um, I think she was the first one for for uh, desegregation, and there was I think it was like the marshals, one on either side of her, and the angry crowd, and they're yelling and screaming. The police were there, and all of this, and they were guarding and holding back the crowd, and all of this stuff. As I was worshiping and praising God, and again I said, please forgive me for not having the specifics. It was a very important time in our history. Um, for African Americans before America, period. Um, so please forgive me. Um, just but stay with me in this moment, this Holy Ghost moment, okay? So as I was worshiping God, um, that image came to mind. And it, then it, it was like, yes, I'm like that little girl right now in the midst of trouble. The crowd is screaming. The enemy has got the, the, the crowd stoked trying to come against me. Whatever plans the enemy has, yep, that's there, is there. But the angels are posted holding back whatever is supposed to be coming against me. I got the Holy Spirit on walking with me. Jesus, my big brother is with me. God is watching over me. The presence of God is in me and with me. God, thank you. Thank you. So I'm sharing all of this with you all to just say, be encouraged, know who you are, know whose you are, and stand on that. Be, be encouraged, praise God for it, thank him for his outcome, and know that you cannot be defeated because nobody can defeat our God. Thank you for allowing me to share this moment. And again, I say to my family and my friends and all my loved ones, <laughs> I am not in danger. It's just a challenge. Life is life in, but God's got me. In Jesus' name, amen.